When 1.2.2 was released, I put it to the test to create a cinematic AI shot ad. I started with terrible results, awkward motions, and wasted render time. However, after digging deeper, I discovered the correct low VRAM workflow, K sampler plus speed lower combination that flipped my results into smooth cinematic perfection. So this video will walk you through building a simple image to video workflow, then how I combine the perfect sampler settings to achieve outstanding quality. Additionally, if you focus until the end, I'll reveal an upscale workflow that improves your video resolution to the next level for professional results. To begin, let's first download the required models. Visit the page here, which provides the GGUF models. We need two models for the workflow, high noise model and low noise model. So open the high noise model download any of the models here according to your VRAM size. So I'll download the Q4 model since I'm using the 3060 RTX. Save the model under the Comfy UI directory, go to your models folder, units folder. I have my high noise model here as you guys can see. Go back to the page, open the low noise folder, download the same version of the model you got for the high noise. In my case, that was the Q4 model. Then save the model into the same unit folder as the high noise model. Moving on, if you have already been using 12.1, you should already have the 12 VAE model. If not, download this model, save it into models, VAE folder as I have mine here. Next, visit the page here to download the clip models required for 1.2. Download either the FP16 or FP8 model. Save it into the models folder in your directory, text encoders. I have downloaded the FP8 model here, as you guys can see once again. Once you have downloaded all the files, go to Comfy UI directory, update folder, select the .bat file then run this to update comfy ui make sure to do this to get the latest version to use the native one two nodes inside comfy before starting the workflow go to the manager make sure you have these custom nodes already installed the gguf custom node kj custom nodes use everywhere node comfy ui layer styles then the video helper suite once you have this installed Go back, then restart Comfy UI. Now, let's start with the first node. I'll right click to add a node, go to image, select load image. I'll drag my image in here and let's test the one, two model with these four characters together. Next, to transform the image, we will need the image to video node from one, two. I'll quickly reorganize this. Now, let's connect these nodes link the image into the start image and we'll connect these inputs later for a better understanding let's change the default settings here i want a bit of a higher resolution so i'll change the width to 960 then the height to 704 i'll keep the video length to 84 frames but you can go ahead five seconds depending on your creative direction so i'll zoom out from here for now this is all we need to do then group these two nodes into a family I'll rename this group as load image. We can all succeed at this, right? Let's move down to create the next workflow. This will load all our models. So right click to add a node, find GGUF, select GGUF loader. Next, I'll use a LoRa node to reduce the render time. I'll select the LoRa loader model only. To further make the generation faster, I'll use another node, which is the Sage Attention node. Select the node here by KJ nodes. And then following that, right click to add another node, go to advanced model, select model sampling SD3. Now I'll link this into each other as we have arranged them simple right i'll highlight all of this then right click on a node to make a copy of each node we need each duplicate because we will be using 2k samplers later in the workflow now let's select the right model for each node to the gguf nodes load the high noise model for the first node we have downloaded earlier in the second node select the low noise model make sure to connect this to the lora node next pan into the right for the LoRa model, find the Light X 2V model. This is a speed LoRa to reduce the render time. So you can download the model from the page here. Make sure you have the image to video version. So click to download, then save it 
and the models into your LoRa folder. I have created a folder here for all 1-2 LoRa models and I have downloaded my model here as you guys can see. So back to the workflow, I tried a lot of settings and this is very important. In the high noise LoRa node, change the strength model to 0.3 and thank you to this comment I came across during my research. Next, use the same LoRa below light x2v and keep the strength here at one link this as well i forgot to do that then for the sage attention node change both of the nodes here to auto if you do not have the sage attention you can bypass this but i hope to post a video soon installing sage attention following that let's change the model sampling here to shift number eight for both of the nodes I'll zoom out from here, highlight all these nodes into another group, then I'll rename this group as load models. Moving on, let's create the workflow for our prompt as well. Double click here, then type load clip. Select the node here, select the load clip model you have downloaded. Mine is UMT5, the FP8 version. Change the type to one. The device option here can be at default. Now I'll drag out the clip, scroll down to clip text and code. I'll stretch this just a little bit for more space. Make a copy of this node. Then this will be our positive prompt. Then this will be our negative prompt as read. Do not forget to connect the clip here as well. After that, right click to add another node. Then we need the load VAE node. Select the 12.1 VAE model here, not 2.2. We only need the 2.2 model as the unit loader. So drag out the VAE, go to search, then I'll connect to the anything everywhere node. I'll pull out from here, then let's also group all of these nodes into our third family. I'll rename this group as prompts. Cool so far. Since we have our models and clip files loaded, this will all feed into the case sampler. So for this time, select case sampler advanced. I'll zoom in on the node here. Now make a copy of the case sampler advanced node. Using two case samplers, we are going to split the steps processing into two. The first will do half of the video on high noise, then the second half on a low noise. So how do we merge this? Drag the high noise connections from the model sampling into the case sampler. Then drag the low noise connections as well into the second K sampler. The high noise gives the dynamic motions, character movements to transform your image. Then the low noise fills in the finer details. So let's zoom out once again to see everything. I'll move this closer. Then we can connect the positive by dragging from the prompt into the image to video node. Do the same for the negative prompt as well into the image to video node. We can see the VAE will be auto-connected. Drag the output from the image to video node. Then the latent will also go into the first case sampler. I will position this to be side by side for a good understanding. Then let's link the same positive and negative into the low noise case sampler. From here, feed the latent from the first case sampler for more refining using the low noise case sampler. This is not too tricky, right? Now, another big concern is the settings for each case sampler. So let's modify the settings in each of them for the best outcome. Add noise, we do not need noise, only refining here. I'll use a random seed here of 90. We don't need a seed number, so this will be zero. Change this to fixed. Also, this can be fixed. Use the same steps for both case samplers. So I'm using 10 steps. CFG, we change to one. Same here, CFG to one. Also, use the sampler method for both noises. So I'll be using the Eurola sampler. Then for schedule, we keep both at simple. For the steps, work on only five steps out of 10 with high noise. In the low noise, start from step five out of the remaining 10 steps. Let's also enable this below and keep this at disabled for the low noise. Are we on the right track? Moving on, I'll drag the second case sampler out, select VAE decoder. The VAE once again will be auto-connected. Then go to search type video combine. I prefer this node to auto-save the workflow once the generation is done. So let's change the settings in here. Frames per second, I'll use 24. 
file name, I'll create a folder for the video results. Format, I'll change to H.264. For the CRF, this can be lower for additional video quality. After that, let's zoom out from here to see the entire workflow. I'll highlight these notes here and also let's place them into a group. Are you ready to move forward? We've reached the most exciting moment. Let's zoom out onto the positive note. I'll paste the description of the scene here to change the image. I was able to generate these consistent prompts using ChatGPT, so I'll be making the full process available in the channel membership group. Let's zoom out from here. I'm sure we have all the settings right and nodes connected. Before we go ahead to hit run, I'll move to the video encoder. Let's double click on the canvas. I'll set for purge VRAM. This node is from Comfy Layer Styles. This will help to clear the VRAM memory without restarting. So to use this, we simply connect the VAE decoder into the input. After this, we can zoom out once again. Are you ready to test it? I'll go up here and then hit run. The generation using this workflow might take some time depending on your VRAM size. So be patient for the process to be completed. Right, so this is all done using the GGUF1 2.2 video model and the realistic feel here is very high. The ability to manage four different characters seamlessly integrated into the scene is really amazing. Their movements are all in sync without overlapping each other. The background is not static, we can see the moving cars and raindrops even on the window just from a single image. So what if we load another image to try this out? I'll load a different image of the same four young women in a different environment. Next, I'll scroll down to the positive prompt. Let's delete what we have here, then paste the new description of what we want to see. I'll zoom out. Also, we can go to the K sampler quickly and maybe change the seed. That's all we need to do. I'll go up from here, then hit run. For this, I'm going to skip to the results. Once again, amazing results from 1.2.2. Their interactions, as we can see, and the sense of reality is too brilliant from just a simple workflow. And since we rendered this at a low resolution, this might lose some quality. So if I pan to the right of the workflow, this is a latent upscale workflow I use to improve the results. I got this upscale method from Benji on his YouTube channel and explaining how this works. So you guys can check out his full video to get a good understanding. The final upscale results were great. However, this took a lot of processing time and VRAM. So this is optional if you want to upscale your results or without an upscale. The results still look decent using the right settings. Following the same process, I generated a few more scenes to keep the characters consistent. I imported the scenes into an editing program. I paid some of the videos, trimmed a few clips, then align them to a voiceover narration from 11 Labs with Emotions. After that, I exported the full edit together, and here we are. It's never just a meal. It's the first bite after a long day. The fries you always steal from your best friend's tray. Because sometimes, the most familiar flavors bring you home. McDonald's, feel good food, cinematically served. Do you see how this could all fit together so easily? And so I'll be releasing the entire process of how I created the various scenes and consistency using Comfy UI on the members channel group. If you experience any out of memory errors, simply decrease your video resolution and regenerate. In case your results do not turn out as you like, once again, try a different seed and regenerate a new video. I hope all this information was helpful and useful to you guys to experiment with your own ideas. Do not forget to leave a like as always and a huge thank you to all the new channel members and resource creators. Welcome aboard. All the project files, prompts and images will be available for access. Also, you can check out more about 1.2 for video generations right here. And I'll see you all in the next video.